Hello, welcome to Design Patterns. In this video, I will show the leasing pattern. And the leasing is all about setting an expiration timeout for resources. How does this work? We as a client, we need some resources. So we need to acquire it. We have a resource provider and this resource provider gives us the resource. So we call the acquire method, but the resource provider in the background sets a timeout for this resource. And as soon as this timeout is over, the resource will be deleted or released again. After the client acquired the resource, he can use it, but as soon as the lease expires, the resource provider informs us first that we know that the resource will be invalid soon and afterwards the resource provider will release the resource and we should delete our reference. There are some mechanisms to extend the lease time or we could reacquire the resource as soon as we get informed that the lease expires. What are the properties? The context is that we are using resources in an application. And the problem is, how can we avoid that resources can be exclusively be used by one single client? We want to avoid that a single client steals resources from all the others. The forces are, we have special resources which are mutually exclusive. The resources may be used by multiple clients. If only one client is able to use a resource, it doesn't make any sense to forbid this. So it should be avoided that one client can use a resource forever. The solution is to supply access to the resource via a leasing proxy or a resource provider, as we called it in the structure. And this resource provider should invalidate the resource after some specific time. Furthermore, we should inform the client that the usage time is over, because without informing the client, how can he know that the resource is not valid anymore? we have to restrict direct access to the resource. If someone can access the resource without the resource provider or without this leasing proxy, it doesn't make any sense. What are the consequences? The resource cannot be used exclusively anymore. And with that, I mean, it cannot be used exclusively all the time anymore. For a specific amount of time, it can be used exclusively, but afterwards the client has to release the resource again, or the resource provider releases the resource again, and another client has the chance to get it. Also, sometimes a client forgets to release its resources, so here these get automatically released after some time, which is a good thing. You don't have to think of all your resources. But what is the right duration? Is one second long enough? Is 24 hours long enough? If we release the resource too early, before the client had the chance to complete its task, this could lead to errors. So, if you think of leasing, think of this annoying error message when your web browser session expires and you have to re-log in to renew your session. 